Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since we meet. So in today's class, I'm going to discuss the important question for the upcoming exam. So please don't skip the video because I will explain the important keywords, how to score the pass mark. And I will give you the tips also to write the answers correctly. And if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please support and subscribe my channel. And today's class, first I'm going to concentrate on network chapter because it has a lot of a theory based question so that easily you can score mark then i'm going to concentrate on sql sql also i'm planning to give the theoretical based question later we can have a discussion with a practical based question okay so the first question what is a computer network write its advantages so i'm giving you the important keyword how to write that so this is the answer for this question. You have to mention this question. It may come in 1, 2 marker or 3 marker. So a computer network is an interconnection of two or more computers. This is an important point you have to mention. And the second point you have to mention. The connection allows them to share data and resource with one another. So these are the two important keywords you have to mention to explain the computer network. And advantages of network. There are four points are there. First one is the information sharing, resource sharing, communication and remote access. So when you want to explain the information sharing, just put a hyphen and mention files and PDF are shared through network. And communication means audio, video, chat messages through network. And resource sharing is printer can be shared through network. Remote access means you can access the system anywhere at any time. So these are the one one line you can mention it. So that it can be 2 marker also, 3 marker also, same answer you can mention. And what is the next question? Next question is explain the types of network. So this question they may ask in 2 marker. If they are asking in 2 marker, any 2 types they may ask. Or difference between LAN and WAN they may ask. Or 3 marker they will be asking. I will be telling but better you can learn all the 4. So here the... Personal area network, the first point in all the types of network, first you have to mention which, what is the area it covers. So, PAN means it is usually covers within small area like a room and it can be wired also or wireless. Wired means you can use USB, wireless means Bluetooth. So, typically Bluetooth how many kilometers it will travel, only the 10 meters it will be traveling. So, example of PAN, you can mention one example, smartwatch. So, these are the three points with one example you can mention for PAN. The same way for LAN means local area network. So, the area it covers is limited area like a classroom, office or building. And it uses a cables or Wi-Fi and it is fast and secure. And speed, if you remember, you can mention it is 10 Mbps to 1000 Mbps and range up to 1 kilometer it will travel. Example, you can mention computer lab. So, these are the points you can mention for local area network. And what about MAN? MAN is a metropolitan area network where it is covering in a city or town and made by linking many LANs. So, connecting all the LANs, you can prefer the what? MAN network. And it is slower than LAN but covers the larger area up to 40 km. Example, you can mention cable TV. And next one is a wide area network and where it is connecting device across countries or continents. It links many LAN and MAN together. So, wide area network is you have to link LAN and MAN together. And the largest network is internet. And where, what is the example? Bank, you will be using this LAN network. So, the next question is network devices. See, they may ask in 5 marker, explain any 5 network devices. Means it is your luck. You can only choose any 5 network devices and you can write the answer. But sometimes what they will be asking they will be mentioning a specific network devices. For example, any five network devices like router, hub, switch, repeater, like that they will be giving explicitly so that you have to explain everything. So, I will give you the important point how you have to write it. So, network devices, the first one is a modem. Modem is the full form you can write. It is a modulator and demodulator. And it converts the analog signal to digital signal and vice versa. Okay, so this is a modern explanation you can give and ethernet card these are the example you can mention so ethernet is called is also known as what 
network interface card. So it allows the computer to connect to your wired network. If you not remember, it is fine. First point you can mention, it is also known as network interface card. And it acts as a bridge between what? Computer and the network. And every NIC has a unique MAC address used for device identification. And it supports the speed like 10 Mbps, 100 Mbps, etc. So these are the points you can mention for Ethernet card. And next one is what RJ45 connector. So it is what standard 8 pin plug. This is important point used to connect the Ethernet cables to devices like switches, routers and NIC. It ensures what secure and reliable connection. And next one is what router. Router is nothing but router means routing you can remember. It directs data packets across different networks. This is the important point. It directs data packets across different network and you will be having the wired network and wireless network. Wired network, sorry, wired routers using what? Ethernet cable. Wireless routers provide what? Wi-Fi connectivity. Next one is a gateway. Gateway means gate, entry and exit point you can remember. So gateway serves as an entry and exit point between different networks. And you can mention this also, it is act as a bridge between two different networks. And gateway often include firewalls to ensure secure communication. So these are the three points you have to mention. And next one is a switch. See remember switch and hub only one difference. So switch also, hub also, multiple computers are connected to the switch or hub. But what is the main difference between switch and hub is, for example, this is, if it is a switch, if the computers are connecting here, computer 1, computer 2, and then computer 3. Instead of computer, you can mention node also. So what it will happen if one, the first computer, if gives any request to the switch, what it will happen? The request will be given back to the computer network, sorry, computer 1 only. But if in the case of hub, what it will happen? It will broadcast to all other computer. That is the main difference. So switch is an intelligence machine. It reads the destination address from the incoming data and forward it to only the intended devices. So easily the switch can identify the destination address from which computer it has come, the request. So only to the particular computer it will send it back. But in the case of hub, what it will happen? It will send the details to all other computers. So it is not an intelligent machine. That is the one difference between switch and hub. So you have to mention it sends incoming data to all connected devices. But it is a basic network device and this one is an advanced network device. So these are the two difference between switch and hub. The same point you can mention it. Next one is a repeater. Repeater is what? It boosts the weak signal in the network. And the repeater receives the weak signal, rebuilt it and transmit it again. And it does not alter the data, only it refreshes the signal. So where we are using the repeater is hill station, you can give us an example. So these are the network devices you have to mention. The next question is network, explain topology. See topology type of question they may ask in 3 marker or 5 marker. So topology is better you can learn everything because sometimes only they will be asking explain any 3 or 5 topology otherwise Specifically, they will be mentioning explain bus or tree or ring, anything. So, topology is nothing but the arrangement of a computer. See, for example, in your classroom, your benches are arranged either this way or this way, right? Either row-wise or column-wise arrangement or it can be sometimes the classes will be arranged in different ways, circle way also. So, that is nothing but the network topology. It is a physical or logical layout of the arrangement in a network is called topology. So totally five type, type of topologies are there. So the first topology is called mesh topology. So the diagram is very important here. Better you can go with four computer and you can mention N1, N2, N3, N4, Node 1. And if you take the mesh topology, the one computer if you take, you have to connect to all other computer. Like that, each computer you have to connect to all other computer. That is the first point you have to mention. Every device is connected to every other device. And where, how the data can be traveled? It can travel from many paths. And highly reliable and secure, expensive due to lot of cables, difficult to install and maintain. 
for example you can mention any one military or banking okay this is a mesh topology and the second one is a ring topology you can look at the diagram here so if you want to draw only four four computer also you can draw it okay and each device connects to two others forming a ring so if you take one computer two other neighborhood computer only it will be connecting and data travels in one direction only either it can be the clockwise or anti clockwise next one it is a simple setup but one device fails so if for example if the computer this computer is fail whole network will be collapsed and it is not very secure or reliable example it's not necessary if you remember you can write it next one is a bus topology bus topology you have to draw one line and terminator will be attached in both the side and connect to four computer or three computer that's it so all devices are connected to the single cable called a bus and data travels in both the direction so here the both the direction the data will be traveling and easy and cheap to set up but if the bus cable this cable is fail means the whole network will be collapsed but the computer the node if any node node is uh, fail means network will not have any problem and the star topology you can see this is a star topology and the center you can attach either switch or hub so that's what all devices are connected to central device fast and efficient because each device has its own connection here if one device fails what it will happen it will not affect but the center hub or switch if it affect the whole it will network will get collapsed and next one is a tree or hybrid so high tree or hybrid you have to draw was to one bus and inside that you can draw the star topology okay that is a a combination of two or more topology and it has a hierarchical structure with branches and sub branches you can see here many branches are there and commonly used in large network and it is a flexible and mainly the example is larger organization they will be using so these are the points you have to mention for topology topology remember the diagram is very important and the first point you can mention how the connection will be connecting and how the data will be traveling and if uh, what is the advantages and disadvantages together you can mention one one point if example if you remember you can write otherwise it is not necessary okay what is the difference between mac address and ip address so these are the important point first point you have to mention the full form of it media access control address here the internet protocol address second point it identifies a device on local network and here it is a global network and the mac address will be assigned by device manufacturer and here it is by network administrator and this is a 48 bit address here you can give only one example ipv4 or ipv6 and this is important point mac address used to physically identify a machine on a network but it is used to identify unique address in each node and it is a physical or hardware address or this one is a logical address and in when it comes to the mac address and ime number this is comes as a mobile phone and it identifies wifi or bluetooth hardware it identifies the mobile device and you can have multiple mac address but here only one per device if you have two two will be there and used in local networking and used in mobile networking you can change the mac address but ime number you cannot change it is a permanent and the next question is the difference among internet web and iot so they may ask this question either two marker or three marker so you have to explain what is the internet what is the web and iot so internet it is a global network that connects computer and device and you have a base, base infrastructure used for communication and where you will be using the internet for what purpose you will be using you can send a email video calls file sharing gaming etc example any one you can mention web is nothing but it is a collection of website and web pages where you will be using the web on the internet only access through browser used for browsing reading any one used you can mention and example also any one you can mention iot means internet of things and smart devices you are connecting through internet and uh, you need the internet to send or receive data and where you will be using using for automation control example alexa you can mention and this is the next question what is a dns and what is a dns server so dns is nothing but it is a system that translate domain name so if you have google.com the computer will have ip address equal to that 
so since computer understand only ip address dns domain name system it helps users access website so that you can easy to remember name see we, we can't remember 192.168.1. like that for each website you can't remember the ip address so for that easy purpose of the human they converted that into the wording format but this domain name system what it will be having equivalent in mobile phone how you will be having the name and equivalent number the same way in dns server you will be having the website address and equivalent ip address so this dns will help you to translate that so if google.com is there the equivalent ip address it will be translate and where they will be taking it from the dns server it will be taking it so that is called dns server it is a server that stores and manages the mapping between domain names and ip address like a phone book so when the user enters the website name in the web browser the dns server only find the current uh, sorry correct ip address from the domain and send it back to the browser so these are the important questions from the network you have to remember so network better to learn all the questions and the important keyword i have mentioned please go through that so this is a question from sql chapter so sql chapter i'm concentrating on theory based question because uh, the practical based question you have to be literally thorough on that so first i can concentrate on theory based question what are the questions you may expect from this so the first question is define rdbms name in any two type of rdbms software this may come in two marker or three marker the rdbms is nothing but you have to mention uh, it is a relational database management system it allows us to store retrieve and manipulate data on the database through queries okay this is a and the example of uh, rdbms you can mention mysql or oracle etc and difference between char and varchar see these question right is very important and they may ask sometimes explain any two type of data types also so the char and varchar the char you have to mention it is a fixed length character and varchar is a variable length character and char is a static memory allocation varchar is dynamic memory allocation you have to provide with an example and explain it and different between alter and update so alter is nothing but to modify the structure of the table but here the update is to modify the data or the content in the table that is the main different between alter and update and you have to mention if you remember the syntax and example please mention that and different between delete and drop so delete means what if you want to delete the particular record from the table you will be using the delete drop is nothing but you are completely deleting the table and the database okay that is then drop so if they are asking this question three marker better you have to write with a syntax and example and difference between group by and order by definitely three points are there you can mention it and difference between scalar function or single row function and multiple row function and explain any five string function with an example so five string function just mention uh, no u case of 50r then mention it will convert the upper case and mention you case of welcome then write the answer as welcome like that you can mention it is there in my book just go through that so these are the question you may expect from the sql so sql try to attend most theory based questions so that if sql if you are planning to attend you have to be thorough with the complete uh, no uh, the syntax and example otherwise if one mistake which is there definitely the whole question will be wrong and application based questions also you may expect right so these are the questions i will be you know when i'm taking the sql chapter i'll be updating so this week definitely i'm going to start continuing my sql chapter so that you will get an idea so wish you all the best for your exam if any question please post your question in the comment section i will reply to your answer thank you so much